okay let's check the rest of the options now so in the last uh, video we have enabled the slow mode for students so that they can write their answers easy freely and easily and when they are done with their answers they can save the whiteboard and that will be seen by the teacher finally so the next option it gives is force simple mode for students it is enable and this is force simple mode so i can force the simple mode for students so if any student is not has not enabled simple slow mode it is his option so now if i want to force this thing like i was pushing the whiteboard similarly here i can force simple mode for students so this is uh, just a simple option these go on hand in hand enable slow mode and force simple mode for students so both are uh, this provides a choice enable wala and this does not provide a choice all right the next option here is the hide names right now what you can see is i can see all the names all the students present in my class with the names and their whiteboards what they have written on their whiteboards so i have jack in my class jason suzy so let's click on the hide names and whoop you can see all the students names have disappeared so this thing can be particularly useful when i do not want to be biased while evaluating the students so i can hide the names and i can evaluate based on their performance <laughs> all right then then i have the option of clear all whiteboards i can clear my students whiteboards as well if i have marked their answers and i uh, have attempted all the questions or i have marked the, evaluated their answers then i can clear all whiteboards the teachers as well as students whiteboards so that i can give them another question so let's clear all whiteboards and here you can see all the whiteboards are clear and now let's see let's unhide the names and here we are back with the three students jack jason and sushi all right so we have cleared all the whiteboards for everyone the next option available here is save all whiteboards as pdf now uh, let us see what it does is before saving uh, let's write something on behalf of the students so let's go to the students mode this is the students mode and let's say uh, i am writing here the student is writing here i am done with today's task and i performed really well so what happened yeah so the buttons are here i can adjust it according to my whiteboard size right now so this has been written now let's see if i can see this content let's go to the teachers mode so i'm here in the teachers mode and i want to i would like to reload to find out what is happening and which students have oh all right the slow mode has been enabled for the students that's why i'm not able to see because i have not saved this so i need to save the whiteboard for the students so the whiteboard is now saved and now i can toggle back to the teachers mode so here jason has written i am done with today's task and i performed really well all right so we were looking at the option of save all whiteboards as pdf so if let's say jack and suji have not done anything and jason has only replied so i want to save the responses of every student so here you can see uh, you can save all your students whiteboard as a pdf file all the whiteboards will be uh, saved as a pdf file one after the other so you can save this go uh, whiteboards of all your students and like you can give a custom note here uh, like today's responses and save it as a pdf